What is the difference between quality control and quality assurance? What do you understand by this? If this question is in front of you or in front of me at the time of interview or group discussion, GD, then we may get confused between the two terms. See, these two terms are very basic, simple, but at the same time confusing. And that's the reason I started this series where I'm going to cover all those topics related to food technology, which is very basic, simple, but at the same time, very important, which may be asked at the time of interview or group discussion. See, irrespective of the exam, either you are preparing for gate examination or any other government examination, you have to face the interview once, right? There, this series will help you. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification. By the way, my name is Shreyas, I'm a third year student of BTEC Food Technology and on this YouTube channel, you will get all information regarding food technology and its application. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to explain you both the terms with the help of real life example. And after that, I will come to the point that how anyone should answer this question in short and most effectively. Okay, so take an example of any food products like biscuit or any packed cakes. Let's take an example of Britannia cake. What you have to do, just buy a packet of Britannia cake of chocolate flavor. Now, call your friend and tell him to buy a packet of Britannia cake of the same flavor. If you will ask him about the taste, aroma, texture, color, touch and feel of the product, then definitely all this factor will remain same. It is not like your friend is having different colored product or the taste is different, aroma is different. It is not like that. Got the point, right? See, we all are consuming these products from our childhood and the quality is maintained same. In this case, the quality is controlled. That is quality control. See, there are certain standards of the food product to maintain the same quality of the product. That is same texture, same color, same aroma, same touch and feel, same taste, which is important. This have to be maintained to fulfill the demand of the consumer. See, right now you buy any food product and after few days, you bought that product again. And let's assume the taste was not same as it was earlier. Then obviously you did not like that product because you bought that product for the same taste. Then you lose the faith in that company's product, right? And also there are certain ISO HACCP standards which have to be maintained for improving the overall quality of food, safety and hygiene. So all these things are very important. Now, what is quality assurance in food industry? Receiving the raw material for any specific product to the processing of the raw material, then packaging of the product, then storing of the product at each and every single steps quality is assured to prevent the defects in the final product. Here, preventing the defect is important. See, quality is assured by various teams in any company. Everyone on the team involved in developing a product is responsible for quality assurance. Now, I am hoping that assuring the quality and controlling the quality is pretty much clear to you. If not, watch this video once again. Now, if you want to give to the point answer for this question, then quality assurance is the set of activities for ensuring quality in the processes by which products are developed. It's a proactive process, which is important and aims to prevent defects by concentrating on the process used to make the product. See here, concentrating on the process is important. Starting with the selection of the raw material to the packaging and storage, quality is assured throughout. The quality is assured to prevent the defect. In the case of quality control, it is a set of activities for ensuring quality in product. By identifying defects in the actual product produced, it is a reactive process, which is important again, and aims to identify or correct defect in the finished product. See, in both the cases, we are ensuring the quality of the food product. But when we are ensuring is important. See here, we have to clear our concepts. What is proactive process? What is reactive process? Quality assurance is a proactive process and quality control is a reactive process. Quality assurance is a proactive process because it is ensuring the quality when the product is being developed. Here we are not checking the quality of the product after the final production of the product. When the product is being developed, we are ensuring the quality. But quality control is the reactive process because we are identifying defects after the final production of the product. We are checking the specific standard, either it is fulfilled or not fulfilled. If it is fulfilled, then it will be easily available for normal consumer. And if the standard is not fulfilled, then the product will fail and it is not available for marketing. That's why quality control is a reactive process. So hope this is clear. If not, watch this video once again. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.